Uh, Paul Telfer and I played Alexander on Vampire Diaries. Yeah. Uh, Hercules. Then, uh, <laughs> um, no, not really. There was a character I played on uh, NCIS. And, uh, um, there was a post traumatic stress um, marine, uh, which is nothing like my life. I had a very happy, easy life. But um, still, like, I, I found that the most fun to play and the most. Uh, it was the thing that brought up the most of me that I've actually done. I like, felt like um, I was going to show some parts of myself that yeah, yeah, I don't necessarily get to show in normal life, but they're, they're still true about me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I would love to play uh, Jesse Custer if they ever made a. Um, TV show, preferably an uh, HBO miniseries out of the comic book Preacher. It's the best thing ever, and I would love to play that role. No tips. Um, uh, uh, Colonel Deering from Buck Rogers, played by, uh, I think, um, uh, Ben Gray. Just, just so gorgeous. I was, I was up late the other night, couldn't get to sleep, and Magnum PI came on, and it was an episode that she guest starred in, and yes, I did it. That still holds up. <laughs> I also like the, ev the evil empress from the pilot of uh, yeah. Buck Rogers. Just all the Buck Rogers ladies. <laughs> and the breakfast. They're justified. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just, it, it drives me crazy that it's not on yet. Um, if there's two of them, they're justified in Parks and Recreation. My two favourite shows, easily. Especially now that Breaking Bad's finished. What's your favourite show? Justified in Parks and Recreation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ron Swanson! Yeah, right? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Plus whatever, you're on. Ah, uh, <laughs> your name makes me blush! <laughs> Flash Gordon, the original. Uh, it's the first movie I ever saw in the cinema. I was lucky enough uh, years later to work with uh, Timothy Dalton. Played my dad in uh, uh, a thing that I did that was, that was pretty good. Working with Prince Baron. Song of the Dead by Queens of Stone Age. My favorite book is probably American Tabloid by James Elroy. And yeah, if they ever made a movie out of that, or preferably an HBO miniseries, I'd love to work on that too. Um, I also really like Watership Down. If you want to try it, you just put it in the bottom. There's a bunch. We could, go, we could talk about books for a long time. It's <laughs> too good. To just taking in as, as much as I can. Hey, Steven. <laughs> um, don't want to take this too seriously, but I kind of want to. Uh, I would love. Oh, Absolutely not. Oh, it's um, part of my heart. I would, I would love to have dinner with Bruce Lee. I think that'd be amazing. Not that I imagine he doesn't eat very much, or he didn't eat very much. He was, he was quite small, but yeah, he was just a huge, massive influence on on the early part of my life. And, you know, really
Which way? You know that one with the Budweiser horse at the Super Bowl <laughs> kind of thing? And it was like they were in love and he remembered his, his form. Yeah, that was, that, anything like that gets me. My wife. For a bunch of different reasons, but because she would be really good at killing zombies. The, the main thing is, uh, I did this uh, short film uh, a couple of months ago that I'm really, really proud of. It's just fantastic, and it's the sort of thing that I think you guys like. It's uh, kind of a spoof horror comedy. Um, it's set basically in the robot apocalypse. It's a love triangle set in the robot apocalypse, and it's called Bunker. You can see trailers for it online. Uh, I'm not sure what the release on it is, but it's, I just saw the finished version of it, and it's fantastic. Um, outside of that, there's a, a film I just did called The Thin Line. Um, but again, I'm not sure what the release on it is. It probably won't be until next year. And I'm about to start shooting a little horror film in LA called Tomb. Um, but again, who knows when these things will come out, but go and watch all of them, please.